Hi, this is M. The Swartz, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Swap Magic on your fat PS2. Because last time I showed you how to do it on the Slim. Alright, for this you're going to need a fat PS2, a piece of cardboard or a hard piece of plastic, scissors, a, screw, a screwdriver, swap the Swap Magic disc, and a backup or import game. Alright, so there's the fat PS2, the scissors and all the other stuff. Uh, the reason I decided to do this was I bought a fat PS2 at a yard sale for like 15 bucks, so I figured I might as well show you guys how to use Swap Magic with it. Alright, so first things first, you gotta open up the dish tray, and then there's this little screw. Just take that screw out. Uh, if you don't know how to open the dish tray, all you got to do is turn it on, eject it, and then turn it off. And then it'll be open without any power. Alright, so then you take it off. Now you're going to screw that screw back on. Just because it's connected to that pole up there. So, I don't know what the effects will be of it if it is off, but I just like to keep it on. So I won't lose it. Alright, now you can see the disc covers off. Now for the hard piece of plastic, you're going to make what's called a swap tool. First, you got to cut it like that, maybe like an inch or two away. I cut it a little too far. Alright, and then you're going to cut it up and cut a rectangle out of it. Yeah, just for the record, this was like the worst one I ever made, so. Like a lot of the other ones. If you do this, like, take like maybe five minutes to do it neatly, then it'll look great. And then you're going to cut a little square out of the top. Make sure you're really close to the edge. Alright, then you're just going to bend the square down, or up, and then twist it until it breaks off. And just pull and twist it. Alright, there. Now it's off. And then this will make it easier. You don't have to do it, but I do. Cut the corner off. And then it looks kind of more professional. Alright, yeah. I made this a little bit too thick, so I'm just going to cut that a little thinner. And then, yeah, there's your swap tool. Alright, now we got swap magic in the dish tray. I'm going to turn on my PS2 and start it up. And that's going to go in. Now, the PS2 lasers are a little weak. Like, weaker than the slimline one. So... You might get that first, and then it'll start. And you might have to do this a couple times for it to work. Just because the lasers are weak with this uh, particular fat PS2. Alright, there's Swap Magic, so you know it worked. Now, since this screen's up, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the PS2. Take your swap tool here and stick it in, and then you're just gonna have to like feel around until you it hooks on to something. All right, there it is. Mine's hooked on, so you just slide it to the right, and then the dish tray will come out. You pull the dish tray out, take out the swap magic disc, then you're gonna put in your importer. Uh, backup game. Mine happens to be Madden 09. Then you push it in and how you made the Swamp Magic tool go to the left, the right before, now you're going to make it go to the left to lock it. 
Alright, there we go. Now it's locked. Now you're going to press X on your controller, and that'll hit load program on Swap Magic. And there you go. There's Madden 09. I hope this tutorial has been a help to you. If you have any questions, just comment or personal message me.